There's been another huge stash of bulk cocaine seized by police from a private yacht. This time the biggest ever. A staggering 5.2 tons found aboard a 77-foot sailboat. The yacht was captured last week by the Portuguese Navy in the Atlantic Ocean, on the high seas, so to speak. The mob reporter here with the story of a remarkable journey from South America that almost made it to market in Europe, where it would have been a masterstroke worth some $300 million for the young swashbuckling narco sailor said to be behind it. Let me tell you about it. When naval vessels carrying police teams from Spain and Portugal intercepted the sailboat more than 200 nautical miles southwest off the coast of Portugal on October 16, 2021, its cargo was mostly in plain view. It would have been hard to hide even if they wanted such a large load on such a vessel. 183 bales wrapped up in colorful packaging. Inside, police say, were thousands of bricks of coke with an aggregate weight of approximately 5,200 kilos. Three men on board were arrested, two Spaniards and a citizen of Peru. We'll come back to them in a moment, particularly one of them, the presumed boss. Now, this wasn't a lucky strike or random stop by authorities. It was the end of a complex trail, a coordinated effort by law enforcement in Spain, Portugal, England, the United States, and Colombia. British police say the yacht was first identified as suspicious back in August by analyzing maritime traffic that seems likely to be involved in cocaine trafficking. Even so, there's been a probe underway for more than a year into the mishmash armada of yachts stuffed with coke sailing east from South America, where cocaine is produced. The sailors had tricks of their own to help them along the way, including frequency jamming systems to try to mask their location. Police say there were flags from several different countries aboard the yacht, suggesting the national flag they sailed under was changed throughout their travels. An investigator said the name of the boat itself was changed as well. The probe was codenamed Operation White Tide. That's a not-so-subtle reference to the flood of white-colored bricks arriving in Europe by sea. It's regular and seemingly unstoppable, just like the tide. This interception also reveals the meteoric rise of the young man allegedly found at the helm. Let's get to know Carlos Cia Otero. He has a more cosmopolitan background than many of the hearty fishermen. He's the 35-year-old son of a well-known lawyer. But if that conjures an image of a life imbued with deep respect for the law, then consider this. Many of his father's clients were narcos and smugglers, and he was convicted last year of misappropriating a client's money. Sia attended a fancy school in Madrid for sommeliers, which is a fancy way to say someone who specializes in wine tasting and wine service. It's likely he formed contacts with narcos through his father and his father's clients. He has been named locally as the face of a new generation of what's being called the Galician Mafia, named for the coastal region of Spain's northwest, where they work, called Galicia. Their specialty is built around a traditional skill that is increasingly valuable to the underworld. Not violence or finance, but fishing. It's an organization built around outlaw boaters, families that once hauled in fish but are now bringing in a far more lucrative but riskier cargo. Galicia is an area notorious for smuggling because of its secluded coves and curving coastline. Galician narco boaters usually work something like this. A large ocean-going ship leaves South America with a load of cocaine hidden on board. That's called the mothership. And when it arrives at a specific spot in the Atlantic Ocean, the load would be dumped and retrieved by a fishing boat or a sailboat and brought much closer to Europe's coast. This boat, in turn, would be met by what are called narcolanchas, literally meaning drug boats. They're power boats, built for speed, not for comfort. You see them here. These boats, often called go-fast boats in America, are typically powered by three or four huge outboard motors. These seafarers are expert navigators, knowing every nook and cranny of the coastal waterways, and in their narcolanchos, they whisk the loads through inlets, estuaries, and rivers to out-of-the-way spots to unload. They've become an increasingly important cog in the wheels of the global underworld. The authorities have been on Sia's tail for more than two years. 
In 2019, police raided a warehouse he owned in Ibiza, convinced they'd find evidence of trafficking there, but officers left empty-handed. In March 2020, just two weeks after the first COVID lockdown began in Spain, police seized 3.7 tons of cocaine on a yacht headed for Galicia's shore. It was declared the first major coke seizure of the pandemic. When those smugglers realized police were onto them, the sailboat was scuttled, sunk along with 3.7 tons of cocaine. Police seemed certain Sia was behind that scheme, along with Humberto Guerrero from Peru, placing the pair at or near the top of the network. But despite a manhunt, neither man could be found until they were discovered last week aboard the yacht, alongside 5.2 tons of cocaine. The presence of Sia in such an incriminating place is perplexing. Bosses don't usually take such a risk. I think he was living on the boat to avoid the manhunt. If he was sailing, as police say, from Europe to South America to Africa back to Europe, it would keep him off the grid and out of sight for months. Aboard the yacht, the bags of bricks were in plain view, some even out on the deck, suggesting it was waiting for the Norco Lanchos to arrive to collect it. Instead, it was the Navy and police that came. Being at the helm of this kind of load suggests that Sia or the Galician Mafia has more capacity and ambition than was thought. This was declared a world record for coke found aboard a yacht. Just a couple of days before, Spain announced a similar high seas raid on a different yacht, 600 nautical miles off the coast of the Canary Islands, which remains Spanish territory. This is video of the interception in search of that boat. It gives a good idea of how the bigger seizure last week probably went down as well. 2,500 kilos of coke was found aboard that vessel, which was flying under no national flag, which is, metaphorically, a huge red flag, and an invitation for boarding by state authorities searching for narcos or pirates. Two crew members were arrested then, a Spaniard and an Italian. There were arrests that followed on land, three people in Malaga, on Spain's picturesque Costa del Sol. In that case, Spanish police worked with Dutch authorities, and the leader of the group was said to be a Dutch citizen. We get another look at how the boats are tracked and intercepted from this seizure last year when Spanish and Croatian authorities captured a sailboat west of the Canary Islands. They seized a thousand kilos then. Three Croatian men were arrested, all of them linked to drug trafficking or arms dealing in the past, police said. Clearly, smuggling aboard private pleasure crafts has become quite fashionable. The volume and frequency of these seizures supports the news from South America of oversupply and a resulting imperative to get the product to market by any means necessary. Which means such risks, allegedly taken by SIA, might now be acceptable. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Do it. Do it now.